it's everywhere. And if I'm here, then... Sophie. The Overlook. Which Sophie will be there? The one that drank champagne with me out of a crappy mug? Or the one who hurt so many people. Even herself. I didn't want any of this. I tried so hard to save her. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. You're okay. You're not being torn into pieces. No. Not anymore. <laughs> you really did it! <laughs> Weather's worse than I remember it. Storm followed me. So did I, apparently. I've never done that before. I guess it's time. I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? You're not the one who shot her mom. For what I've done, what I'm going to do. Stop stalling, Max. You saw what happened. There wasn't any of me left. It was all Moses and Ben and Lucas and Gwen. It hurt so much. I hurt so many people. Help me fix it. Please. That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. It feels good. Final. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Or maybe the world is cursed. We just live in it. Safi. That's poetry and bullshit? Yeah. I know. You're so important to me, Sophie. God, you're such a cornball. Uh. Pull the trigger. choice between two shitty futures. Come on.
looks like I'm not dead. And I'm in the North Quad. Small victories, Max. It's so quiet for a storm. Like, oppressively quiet. Safi? Safi! I'm not in the past anymore. Safi could be back to the way she was. I have to find her. Mom and Dad? Blackwell Academy? That was... that was forever ago. Seems like a thousand years ago, Moses and I sat on that bench. For all that's happened since. Max? Sophie? Max! I can hear you! But where? I can't find you! What's going on? Help me! Diamond? Max, thank God. I walked out of the snapping turtle and then somehow I was here. The Eye of the Storm? I see it. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. But if things are weird now, they're only going to get weirder. That's not comforting. I wish Moses was here. I hope he's okay. Come on. Let's get inside. This storm is as bad as it looks. Maybe Safi and Moses found shelter. Max! I'm right behind you. not here. But Moses is? Getting blocked by a cat is definitely a low point. I'm past the living in a 
dorm age. I'm past responding to Warren's texts, too. I'm 95% sure that's Sophie's brand. Why is Moses smoking them? Strange. Sophie's bag? Up here, without Sophie? What? What the hell is this? I've read this plaque a dozen times. That's not what it says. Mind me, Mr. Owl. Just gonna grab a quick photo and then scoot on by. I said, who? Who? Yeah, who? As in, who do you think killed her? What the fuck? Sophie's favorite candy. Did she come through here, somehow? Okay, the storm's not so bad here. That is a disquieting number of telescopes. Moses had the world's horniest grandma mug that night. What is going on with Moses? Hey, uh, Moses? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. Have you seen Sophie tonight? Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? So, should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? Did I do something to you? Did my powers break you? Just trying to capture the perfect photo. The perfect photo. Perfect photo. Hang on. Sophie? All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Sophie, are you in there? Max! Max, it's me, Moses. I. Moses! All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? I don't know. I guess I'd... Strange. This feels... right. But that... That's just Sophie. I haven't double exposed a photo in a while, but if I superimposed two images of Moses on top of each other, maybe I could separate the Sophie parts out of Moses. Sophie had locked me in a kind of, I don't know, a sarcophagus. I was trapped, but still protected somehow. And I could hear Sophie. I could hear you. Just outside of it, I... Where was she? I don't know. I couldn't get to her. Whatever you did snapped me out of it. 
or snapped her out of me? Max? Max, where? I'm sorry, I. Safi? Safi? Okay? I think I know what I have to do. Beth, I'm coming with you. No, stay here. The storm. I've been through something like it before. Reality gets unreliable. Better if you sit tight. Machine Angel Psychic Storm? Take care, Max. See you on the, uh, flip side. This isn't Caledon. This is Blackwell Academy. Chloe was shot here. I listened to it happen. I... You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Chloe! Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I am so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <sighs> Maybe Sophie's right. <sighs> Maybe we are cursed. Cursed to relive our worst moments over and over again. I had a chance to save Chloe from this bathroom, from Nathan's gun, and I did. And dozens of people died instead to my storm. Well, joke's on you, Storm. If you don't think I play out this moment in my head every day, then you don't really know me. Where is that coming from? It's in one of these stalls. Max and Sophie? Not Max and Chloe? So... <laughs> that's it then? We're done? Sophie's cooler than you ever were. <laughs> Cause she drives a Porsche? Cause she has powers. This is so fucked up. I would never. I used to look at this every day. Abraxas, the Vortex Club. Always someone trying to be on top. I'm kidding. This still isn't as funny as the artist thought it was.
Okay. Well, that's new. Lucas, I have to get down there. What are you looking for? Pretty deep birthday banner. Oh, Kate. You deserved better friends than the ones you were stuck with. Better than me. to get down there to Lucas. I wonder if that ladder is still here in the other timeline. Okay, one neb is cute. Kinda. One. Oh boy. Do I really want to? Place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Jesus, possessed dolls much? Still busted. I'm not getting down this way. I don't want to look at this. I don't. I don't. I don't. The door of Jefferson's bunker. I can never forget it. to get out another way. It, it can't be anything but that. I can't. I can't. I was 18 when Jefferson trapped me in that chair. I'm not 18 anymore. So this is what it's going to take. Oh god! I can't move! So many dreams about this thing. Oh, <sighs> 
once is all you get. Time to get the hell out of here. I'm done with that now. Still here. Thank God. Still need to get to Lucas. If not for Sophie that day, that would be my headstone. And now I have to return the favor. It's even more magnificent down here. Forgotten hope. Maya's memorial tree. What the hell is it doing here? Maybe I should sit for a second. Clear my head. I have to keep telling myself this isn't a dream. It's real. And I'm the only one who can make it stop. Sophie? Sophie, where are you? In the dark, we labored, and in the Shit. daylight, Loretta's here too. We disappeared. Loretta, y you okay? I was following Professor Colmanero. I, I I thought there was a story, but I'm so stupid. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Just stay here, okay? Wait, Miss Caulfield. Please don't go. I don't know what's happening. Loretta, you're safe here. That's all that matters, okay? You have my voice clamped between its teeth. I like this quieter, if Lucas. I, I almost don't want to fix my it. Mouth. We gaze at each other in the windowless box. It is flight or fight. Never forgive. Lucas, it's me. It's Max. But there are no bells, doors, or windows. Only his face. A mirror. And I feel a forgotten hope. I the like this quieter Lucas. I almost don't want to fix him. We wash. Smile, Lucas. Maybe double exposing the photo again? It worked with Moses. Max. It's really 
you. In the flesh. I thought I was dreaming. Sophie was there. What the shit is this place? Stay put, okay? It's dangerous out there. I think that's all I can do for Lucas. Miss Caulfield? Is that you? Reggie, I'm so glad you're okay. Max, what the hell is happening? I'm not sure. It has to do with time. A time vortex that manifests in a storm. Ugh. Time vortex. Fuck, you're right. It's, I remember Sophie being shot, and I remember seeing her around campus. And and last night I was I, I hung with Diamond at the Turtle, I think. And I also sat there alone and watched you make out with Vin. Reggie. Just stay here, okay? I'm going to fix this. This is Safi. Isn't it? This is her pain. What we did to her. Vin, I don't think Safi blames you for- <laughs> No. <laughs> You're right. She doesn't. She was in my head back there, and she doesn't think about me at all. Two Sophies in two universes, and neither of them cared if I live or die. <laughs> you know, I. I was in love with her. Or I thought I was. Maybe you should focus on what's in front of you. Yeah. Maybe. I'm going to fix this. Trust me. I do. I do trust you. Be careful, Max. I'm so sorry, Vin. Really freaked out, but hanging in there. Brave kid. Okay, out of the frying pan and into the turtle, I guess. Amanda, thank God. Are you okay? I don't know. Weird shit at the turtle is someone flipping the paintings of the bathroom key going missing, not this. Hey, it's not safe out there! Max, what is this storm? Why is Gwen out there, and why are you not also freaking out? Look. Go get yourself some water, or a beer, and I promise I'll explain soon. Or try to. I don't think Gwen entirely knows she's outside. Gotta find a way to get close enough to take Gwen's photo.
add good under pressure to the list of Amanda's talents. All right, hmm. This door seems to be blocked too. Really, Max? The photo now? Why are you always in everybody's business? We were having a moment. Maybe she has a voyeurism kink. Not like I'm one to kink shame. Just ignore her. Where were we? You were going to tell me more about your... telescope. Nah, I can't do it. A little privacy, please. I have to tell Vin about my telescope. Sorry to interrupt. Not sure why this door won't open, but maybe I can try the patio doors. Amanda usually keeps those unlocked. There's so much snow, but at least I can get outside now. I'd be used to this. At least the motel is new. Even if I were hungry, I'd rather just wait till I'm back in the snapping turtle tea. Jesus. My first journal entry from when I got accepted to Blackwell. July 10th. All those years ago. If only I'd known how much my life would change. Chloe. God, Chloe, I'm sorry for everything, but I'm also so, so tired of being sorry. On tonight's motel mishaps, Max tries to make a grilled cheese. Accidentally commits arson. Chloe and I aren't enemies. She just doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Chloe's lockpicking set. She could even get me to open up. Wild that my baggage is such an on-the-nose metaphor. That's why Safi is the poet. Not me. It's past time for me to get a new one, but we've been through so much together. Yes, the famous mountains of Topeka, Kansas. No escape, huh? <laughs> Buddy, that's the story of my life. That can't be the right time. Just how I like them. Tall, shady, and not too bright. Don't worry, Safi. I'm coming. Is this the same room? No. This is where I stayed in Santa Fe. I think. The longer than we but the spring isn't cancelled yet. Hanging there a little longer. Hey, 
hang on. Okay, wait. This is... Pretty sure this is that motel in Cleveland. Never did get used to sleeping alone. All right, Cleveland. After this shoot, I'm gonna nap till June. Maybe September. I'm so tired. I didn't realize how tired I am until just now. Maybe if I lie down for a few minutes, all of these rooms will stop spinning. Feels so nice to rest. I wish I didn't have to get up for that shoot. Who was the client again? Or the location? I... That's the problem with moving around so much. All these rooms really do start to blend together after a while. One big, amorphous blob of motels. Like some kind of... nebula. Nebula. Nebula, nebula, nebula. I was just there. There was... Safi. This... isn't right. Of here if I can't even open this door. How... how do I get out of here if I can't even open this door? Now that I've traveled to Purgatory and back, I can finally see what's going on with Gwen. Better check on Gwen first, now that the patio doors are clear. I'm back. Jesus, Max. Warner Girl first. Sorry. You disappeared and I don't know where you went. I'm okay. And I promise I'll explain everything. Later. Hang on, Gwen. It's almost over.
They were all softy. They called me a fraud. A coward. It's okay. I got you. Amanda, you and Gwen stay here and take shelter. Wait, what are you gonna do? Sophie's out there, somewhere close. I can feel her. And she needs me. I need her. Be safe, yeah? When am I not? Why do I always gotta fall for the weird ones? <laughs> Always forget you're so huggy. Did I do it? Are you you again? As much as I ever was. Thank you, Max. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find a way out of this place. Or this time. Hey, I'm taking a minute. All of that was pretty fucked up. Yeah. But who needs all the king's horses and all the king's men? I've got you to put me back together again. <laughs> you know, I was pretty cool. I accept fawning gratitude. <laughs> Consider yourself fond. So, any chance of everybody just forgetting I tried to rip out their soul? I don't think so. Everyone I've encountered seems lucid. And the timelines seem to be combining. Great. Fantastic. We'll deal with it. Time travel, alternate universes, scraping together the broken pieces of your unstable friends. What else can you do? I can fry a mean egg. Promises, promises. <laughs> what? You just seem... extremely chill? Considering we're still stuck in a supernatural time storm. It's the little things in life. Frappuccinos, movie marathons, chilling with your bestie in the void. Here's the thing. I'm glad you were here too. You know. But I just tore everybody apart into tiny little pieces. They'll forgive you. Will they forgive me? Maybe I don't forgive them. Maya isn't any less dead. Everybody I cared about still betrayed me. My mom... will never be different. I think the best thing would be... 
fucking break. I don't belong here. Don't say that. Of course you do. After your hometown got whirlwinded, what did you do? I ran away. But I shouldn't have. It was cowardly. I've wasted years of my life hating myself, knowing that if I'd only made better choices, I might have saved everybody. Don't say that about yourself. You have it wrong. People like you and me, we don't belong at some B-tier liberal arts university with a bunch of washed-up bloggers ready to knife each other for tenure. We're... fucking divine. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. The shit that we can do? Gods can do that stuff. Or... monsters. You can say whatever you want about the choices you made. But you aren't a monster. You're my friend. I hurt people. And I fixed it. We can fix it. Together. Of course. Duh. That's why you're so confident. The figure's the only person I can rely on is me. Safi, I don't... Last piece of me, Max. It's in you. Why isn't it hurting me like it hurt everyone else? Maybe I trust you? Maybe it's more of your Magic Max bullshit. I wish I didn't have to take it out. Is that weird? It's a little weird. But what's some weirdness between friends? We should though, right? How we get out of here? If I had to put money on it, yeah. It's probably for the best. We don't want you to get an infection or anything. <laughs> See you on the other side. Sophia. Ugh. Oh my god. Yes, mean. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Do you think you can get up? Can you oh, Sophie, help me. Clean break. Remember? Maxine. Oh, don't let her go. It's okay. Safi. She's your mother. Oh, yeah? Now I'm my mother.
I can be anyone, Max. I can be your new boyfriend. I can be a cute girl at the bar. I can even be... Sophie, stop it! It's... It's real? I, I wasn't hallucinating? What are you? And what did you do with my daughter? You can make her forget she saw that, right? Better yet, you could make me unshoot her. You have an instant undo button on life, Max. Why not use it? If you think that's how it works, you don't know anything. There's always a price, Sophie. You're right. I've got a lot to learn. So teach me, Miss Caulfield. What? You said we could fix everything. Together. Safi. I can't. I have... Fuck, I have... My, my life. Everybody. I'm going to find other people like us. People with powers. I spent my whole life thinking I was the only one. Knowing I could never tell anyone because they would look at me like that. But now there's you. You and me. Time traveler and a shapeshifter. Imagine <laughs> what we could do. And who cares if I'm a silly little girl whose mom needs to show her how the world works? Because now... It works however I want it to. Stay here. Keep your job, your life, whatever irresistible glory Caledon can offer you. But I have to know. When I come back, are you going to stay with me, Max? Are we in this together? Or is everything you said in the storm just words? <laughs> Are you sure you need to leave? There's nothing for me here. I mean, besides you. But you'll wait, right? Be safe, Safi.
She knows me better than anyone. Knew me better than anyone. The me now, though? After all this? Maybe it's time I found out who that Max is. Classic Yasmin, playing it close to the chest. I'm glad Jackie texted me a reminder this morning. With everything that happened, I'd completely forgotten about the hostage exchange. Hey, Daisy was a guest, not a hostage. You know that's not their name, right? Let me live in delusion a little longer. <laughs> Don't let them go. I know their tricks. We're buds, aren't we? <coughs> Ellerton House will be gloomier without you. I wish you well on all your cat endeavors. Thanks for doing this. I'm glad I posted those photos online. I hope Jackie will forgive me for keeping her cat for a few days. Knowing her, her next piece will be an ode to Max Caulfield. This cat is her whole life. I'm seeing her this afternoon for coffee. My first time spending time with someone since... No more lies. No more hiding. They're all waiting for me at the Snapping Turtle. Glad to see you survived the storm, friend. Hey, Alice.
I wish he'd come to the Snapping Turtle. I hope he isn't skipping it because of me. It's nice of Loretta to help out, especially with how exhausted she looks. Can't believe how much I'm gonna miss little Daisy. Hi again. How are you doing? Still alive, I guess. Thanks, by the way, for what you did at the nebula. I froze up. Hey, you were overwhelmed. Most people aren't prepared for reality to break like that. So, do you also remember that there were like two of you and, and now they're fighting for space in your head? Well, it didn't work the same way for me. But that's because... Wait... Are you asking on the record? This isn't for my podcast, I swear. I'm putting that on pause for now. I'm glad. There's always time for clout chasing next semester. Damn, Miss Caulfield. Harsh. But fair. Take care of yourself, okay? We've all had it rough. Right back at you. Hey, Reggie. I know we didn't get much chance to talk in the... The Twilight Zone? <laughs> well, we were all a little busy. <laughs> Can I ask you something privately? Um, so, about Vin. It's okay. I know that you didn't kiss him on purpose. Or, or I mean, I know that it wasn't about me. You were sad, and drinking, and he's... Like an avalanche. Yes. Tell me about it. It's fine. I'm over him. I'm focused on doppelgangers and multiple realities, and <laughs> I still have no idea how I'm going to pass Econ. And <laughs> Reggie, it's going to be okay. I know it sucks. But you'll get through it. Thanks, Max. I don't think there's another world to cross over to anymore. The quad's looking pretty good after, you know, being hit by a supernatural storm. No use going that way. I've got other places to be right now. Do you still f There's Lucas, awaiting his fate at Caledon. Dead man walking. Thomas, you're back. Mostly. Not there yet. My position's off. Working on your new book? Maybe you should switch to science fiction. <laughs> Max. Are you going to tell me what the hell I went through? Or do I have to spend the next decade in therapy? I don't really know how to explain what happened. But... 
You should think of it as a second chance. One step ahead of you. I'm working on my apology as we speak. What do you say? Give a guy some constructive feedback? Give it to me. It's a little rough, granted. I hope the gracious hand of empathy backhands you into a ditch, Lucas. Do you actually mean any of this? Does it matter? At least no one can say I stole it. Not that they won't try. So, what's your next move? I'm not sure. Focusing on Robbie. I'm hoping he'll give me a second chance. That's probably the smartest thing you've ever said. It's not like I can stay at Caledon. This place has been poisoned against me. Who's the victim now? Well, goodbye, Lucas. Good luck. Yeah, you too. Not there yet. My position's off. Not there yet. My position's off. Huh. Guess the Safi Memorial is no longer here. Or maybe never was. After all the storm shenanigans. Got it. This is the shot. I wonder how I'll feel about this photo in 10 years. Uh, remember? How are you holding up, Alexa? Maya's tree, where it belongs, and as big as in the bowling alley. Things are returned. How strong does a storm have to be to rip off a roof? You two make it look so easy. I bet you never had to explain your bizarro superpowers to someone you made out with. There's always time to sit. The snapping turtle's just across the bridge. I really hope no one was around when that fell. Both realities somehow got smushed together in the storm. Now everything's the same, but not. How crazy is it that my brain can wrap around that so easily? Years ago, I would have been freaking out, but I'm okay. I'm not that same kid anymore. That storm haunted me for years. I can't let this one haunt me too.
So, you... Yasmin. I haven't heard from her since the day she came out of surgery. Hello? Hello, Maxine. How are you doing, you know, mentally? Not very well, to be frank. Half of me will never forget what I saw. What Safia became. The other half of me had begun to accept her as dead. Yes, mean. What you saw during the storm... I don't need an explanation. Not yet. If I try to understand, then there will be no room for my recovery. And I will recover. I have to find Safia. Any news about your job? I heard the board, um... Ugh, I have been arguing with them. I made my mistakes, but these are offset by an excellent track record. And... did the board buy that? They did not, no. I have been asked, <laughs> forced, to step down. I love my daughter, Maxine, just like you. I am not a monster. I haven't heard from Sophie, if that's what you're trying to ask. Oh. I, I had hoped. One moment. Excuse me, I, I'm apparently well past the appointed time to take my painkillers. <sighs> Until next time. Here goes nothing. Well? Not a peep. Guess I'm not surprised. Would you come looking for us if you were her? This is a go to your friends situation. Yeah. Maybe we should go easy on her. Wait for her to pick up the pieces. In the meantime... Take your time. I'll be here when you're done. I want to check on how everyone's doing first. Has it only been a semester? After everything we've been through? I feel... What do you say to a picture? For old time's sake. Moses has hypothermia. <laughs> and now, crippling anxiety. I can never have enough shots of Moses. 
Hmm. Smile like when we saw that meteor shower on the roof. I couldn't smile. My face was frozen. Just do it, you big doof. I have to go see about a girl. So you're super Max. Guess your secret identity is gone, huh? I wanted to tell you. But you couldn't. Just like with the Maya thing. Any more secrets or do I finally get to know you now? I don't know. This isn't my first time seeing a storm like this. It's not super easy to explain. It is pretty insane. <laughs> you know, I remember rejecting you. And then you just found a version of me that still wanted you. A pretty cool trick. But kind of fucked up. Where does that leave us? I'd understand if this changes things. That's what I was gonna ask you. And you kissed him too. Right in front of me, by the way. Well, one of the me's. This whole other reality thing is new for me too. But I'm sorry. It was a dick move. All of this scares the shit out of me, honestly. If it weren't you, I don't know how down I would be to play Lois Lane. But it is you. And I like you. I think I need time. To sort out my shit? Give me a little. And then who knows? <laughs> Maybe you can win me back. Challenge accepted. One more photo for the road? Sure. You keep at this, I'm gonna have to start charging a modeling fee. Ha ha. Say cheese. I will not. Max. Sorry, I just... You're gonna explain what happened, right? Hey. Are you okay? What do you think it all means? Why you? Or Safi? I'm still trying to understand. I didn't know anyone else had powers until I met Safi. That must have been a revelation. You have no idea. How are we supposed to walk around knowing something like that could happen? You already handle that, every day. 
Anything could happen at any moment. You could be hit by a car, struck by lightning. Is this your pep talk? What a nutty week. I can't believe I was able to crack the case. Still no storm. I can't believe that actually worked. The last time I saw Gwen, she was wrecked. Some weather we're having, am I right? Hope that wasn't the grand explanation you promised us. Hey, isn't eloquence your job? I just take the <laughs> photos. I felt how much she hated me, Max. It was terrifying and disappointing. Yasmin played everyone against each other, Gwen. She used you. I don't think I've ever felt like such a mark. It's in the past now. I hope so. Oh, one more thing. That video footage of me. That was Safi, right? Yeah. That girl never does anything halfway. Neither do you, now that I think about it. Anyway, I talked to the committee that fired me. There's enough weird shit that's happened, I think I can argue my way back in. I failed Safi. But there's other students here I can still support. I won't just let it go. I'm glad to hear it. Mind if I take a snapshot to remember you by? Oh, whatever you want. This could be your last chance to take my photo. Make it count. <laughs> Say, I escaped a crazy storm and all I got was this photo. <laughs> Fucking lousy trade. <laughs> there it is. Vin looks tired. I'm glad he and Reggie got out of the storm, okay? Max! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I am so fucking glad to see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for texting you like 900 times. I just didn't know who else to talk to. Don't worry. This sort of thing is isolating. It was for me the first time. I feel more alone than I ever have in my life. I'm still trying to work out which Vin is which, you know? Things will get better. Yeah. New horizons, right? Talk soon.
think that's everyone. Okay, Moses. Let's give them the talk. Can I add you to my photo wall? Oh, come on, I look wrecked. Sure. Then in his natural habitat. Hey, pretend to be asleep. I feel like I'm on a prank show. Don't draw a dick on my face. That storm seemed kind of evil, all I'm saying. Yeah, it was dangerous. God. But you're protecting. Krampus feels like it was Horses don't have, like, ill ago. intent. There's no good or bad in science. Hey, Diamond. I'd like to get a photo for the end of the year. Mind if I... Okay. I was hoping she'd be a little more enthused, but... Do you blame Safi for what happened? I just want to know she's a... Everything's changing so fast. Everyone's pretty shell-shocked. Yep. How about you? Still excited to have double memories? <laughs> I can't be the only one. Seriously? Come on, it's fascinating. What if Safi really does come back? She did some terrible things, Max. And you basically gave her your seal of approval. Sophie did what she had to do. No one was going to listen to her unless she made them. Yeah, I know. I get that. I'm just worried this isn't the type of door that you can close. Hey. We're a team, right? I'll handle it with you. No more hiding or running away. What about the blue hair girl, Chloe? Are you ready to stop hiding from her? I think so. Not yet. I think it's time I explained a few things. It won't always make sense. And I'm not proud of every decision I made. It's the truth. What's coming next is going to be difficult. For all of us. But we're going to get through it together. I promise.
This time... I'm not going anywhere. Shit! Shit! We're gonna have to get you a blood transfusion. What the fuck are you doing here? You remember me. That's flattering. I've seen nosebleeds like that before. So you can run, or you can follow me and get some answers. Your choice. 